Welcome to the Wyoming Introductory Supervisory Education course, otherwise known as WISE. My name is Matt Nagy. I'm with eLearning Services, and I'm going to take you through how to navigate through this course. So when you first log in, this is what you'll see. As it says here, there's nine sections to this course. First of all, I'd like to point out our contact information. If there's any uh, content questions, please contact Chuck Cruz. And if there's any technical issues or problems with the site, please contact me. So right away, the first topic will be personnel rules. I want to point out these boxes over here. The required items have a box next to them. So here's a link to the state of Wyoming personnel rules that you should read through and executive orders, but here's an actual required unit. So let's go ahead and look at that. That's a PDF. Now when you get to PDFs, you can always save them and print them, but it'll be different on each browser on each type of computer. So Firefox on a Mac is going to be different than Chrome on a PC, but typically you can hover over an area to print or save. Sometimes it's in the top corner, sometimes in the lower corner but you should be able to print and save these if you need to. Otherwise, you read through them, okay? And then for navigating back to where you were, the best way to do it is with the back arrow on the browser. The other way you can do it is in the breadcrumbs, okay? So you would go back to the WISE certificate course. The only problem with this or the difference with this is that it'll take you to the top of the course instead of where you were. So the best way to go back is to use the back arrow. And it will show the activity is complete. Okay, so let's go into a video that I have not seen. These are instructional videos on personnel rules. All right, so it's as simple as clicking the play arrow in the middle. And these have closed captioning. There's two types of videos in this course. One type looks like this and the closed captioning button is up here. Another type is a YouTube video where the closed captioning button is down here. Either way, you view the entire video. Chapter 10 deals with employee placement uh, of a child. And then when you're done viewing the video, again, you can either click the back arrow or the breadcrumb back to the course. I'm going to use the back arrow. That was chapter 10 it now shows as complete. One of the unique activities in this course is the discussions, and there's several of them. You can tell which ones are discussions by the little talk boxes, okay? And typically, you're gonna need to post a comment and then respond to somebody else's. Not always, but typically. So let's go into this one, discussion of workplace scenarios. Within that, discussion there'll be detailed instructions on what to do so for this one in order to complete the activity you need to start a new discussion topic and reply to a topic posted by somebody else so you'll read the instructions about what the topics are about and you'll add a new discussion topic then you can go into a different discussion somebody else's topic let's go to the barbecue don't tell anyone and you'll need to reply to somebody else's. All right, you can reply to the first one or you can reply to a reply. Um, doesn't matter, but the course will know that you have posted an initial comment and replied when you do that. And as you can see, the checkbox is not checked because I did not do anything. Okay, so you're gonna do the same thing through each topic. Fundamentals of leadership, time management, supervisory counseling, key labor laws, behavioral based interviewing, motivation, conflict management, interpersonal factors, and then at the bottom topic 10 is a wrap up and final survey. We need all state employees to add some information to their profile. So you need to view this video. It explains how to add your state employee ID and your agency number to your profile. Then below that we have a feedback form. Please fill it out and let us know what you think about the course. Then once all of the sections, all the required items that have check boxes and these two things are done, this certificate of completion 
will appear below here. All the other things have to be done before the certificate will show. Once it's done, it will show here, you'll click on it, and a certificate will open in a new window that you can save to your computer or print. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoy the course.